Welcome to our video where we'll show you our new starter site. Here under demo.cms.com you'll find our new starter website. If you come to the main page you'll see that we have a banner where we have different images that are rotating with information and a link to learn more. Each of these images with their text are just a piece of content in that CMS and we use a jQuery plugin to do the transition between the images. If we mouse over here, you'll see that we have uh, created custom navigation for this site with drop-down menus. And this is, uh, this is done using the navigation macro and overriding the VTL file that creates the navigation. We also have, if you go to upcoming events, we have a new calendar that it's flat, it's not using the grid calendar that we had in 1.9 and in here we have an option to select different categories and search by those and then also search uh, based on dates. We also have, if we go here to uh, locations, you'll see that we have different locations and this is content also in that CMS but we're also mapping them on a Google map here as you can see. So this is just to show you how it is easy to integrate with third-party products such as Google products. We also have if we go into products we have a list of products here and this is content in that CMS and if I go into one of them you'll see here that we have content we're using graphs to show the data and we're also here bringing data from uh, Yahoo Finance quotes and this is all done uh, once you load the page here. We also if we go to the resources section we go under documents you'll see we have here a list of documents and this is using the new uh, files as content feature in that CMS 2.0 where we can create files as a piece of content and add additional metadata to it. In here we, we can show you how we have a listing of documents. We can click through to see the detail for uh, this document and its metadata. In here you can see the metadata for the file. And we also can then search given different topics and or we can search using keywords. We also can use here, if I search for image, we're using the, uh, the metadata's content type to, make, to, to search for all of the images or all of the videos or all of the documents. In this case, um, using the metadata. We can also now uh, do a search on all of our fields using our new keyword underscore all in here, let me put the word keyword movie, this will be sh uh, searching on all of the fields and not just on one field in that CMS. If we go here to resources videos then you'll see we have different videos this is also content in that CMS and we can click through each of the videos and this is, let me pause this, this is using a jQuery plugin that will detect whether you have a browser that allows you to use HTML5 and then provide the appropriate video player for you. It also allows you to tweet or like your video and this is all integrated within the, the plugin. These videos can either be hosted somewhere outside of that CMS or within that CMS. If you can see here, this one, it's coming from YouTube. Let me see if we have any that are uploaded directly to that CMS. I think these are all coming from YouTube here. Then we also have a photo section. In here we have two different ways of pulling images. One way uh, we're pulling images that we have in that CMS such as these four images up here and using another jQuery plugin to display the images and we also have the option to either uh, tweet or, f or like the image. We can also then on this section we're pulling a Flickr feed 
left. So in here we're pulling pictures from our conference from last year. And you can see now this is coming directly from Flickr. We also have, if you click on contact us, we have the contact us form and this is using the form builder that we have that we created for 1.9. It works the same way in 2.0. Of course, we wanted to have that on the starter site. Uh, something cool on this site that we didn't have before on the demo site, if we click here on the visitor information, you can see here this is showing you my location, uh, where, I'm, where I am, uh, telephone code, um, the, the city where I am, state, etc. It also shows you information about my browser and my session and I can click here to see my click trails. So this is showing me everything I've done on this, on this session, how long I've spent on each of the pages, and where I've been clicking through to get to this page. And as you know, we save all of this information within uh, the clickstream tables in that CMS, and you can access all of this in the back end for logged in and non-logged in users but it's nice for the user to be able to see this in the front end. We also have a new mobile site for that CMS 2.0 and we'll show you that in a separate video. Uh, for more helpful videos, visit our resources section on the .CMS website. From all of us at .CMS, thanks for watching.